Ici, pour la joie, il se passe à Baalotha, à Gabriel Hachem, à Moucherem, à Chien Spoktu Moshe, Seyim, Gabriel Aharon. Speak to Aharon, à Marta et Rab, à Terim, de Halotha et Tanero. It was a special Dibur to Aharon, de Halotha et Tanero, when you, when you kindle the Nerod, the lamps, El Mulpene Amenora, toward the face of the Menora, Yairu, should, uh, should light, should cast light, Shib Atan Rod 7, Nerod. I ask him, Aharon, Aharon did that, El Mulpin Amera, the front of the Menorah. Menorah means the middle one, Hela and Roteha, who kindled the lamps, Kashir Siva Hashem, Chase Hashem says Moshe, the Zem Masa Menorah, this is the crafting of the Menorah, Masa Zahav, it was the craft of hammered, Mikshah Zahav, hammered out gold, means what it was one piece, at Yerecha to the base, at Pircha the flower, Mikshahi was, was hammered out one piece. Like the appearance of the vision that Hashem showed Moshe, he made them the Menorah. So this is Parashah, Torah tells us Moshe, speak to Aharon, special Dibur to Aharon. Now Rashi says, why is it so Micha Parashah? Why was it special Dibur to Aharon? Because what's the connection between the Parashah of Menorah and Parashah of Hanukkah and Mizbiyah? Lastly, we learned about Nesim, Nesim brought the Korbanot, and all of them brought Korbanot, 12 Shavadim, except Shevet Levi, and Aharon saw that he didn't bring him, not himself, not his shepherd. He felt bad. He said, wow, such a publication, such a great majesty, declaration of Abba Dishbar, who will be bringing you to Karbon with flags and every Nasi and Nasi brought such a great Kedush Hashem, and I wasn't part of it. See, that's the way that the person said he feels. He wants to be part of Abba Hashem. That's like there is a great business. He wants to be part of it, such a margin profit. He also such a great Kedush Hashem, you feel bad. You say, okay, I'm doing other things, or you feel bad. You want to be part of it. You want to partake. Now, by Kedush Baruch Hu told him, Chayecha, you should know. Shelcha Gedur HaMishrahem. Your portion is greater than their portion. Shata Abad Rebet Yudan wrote, because you're going to kindle the menorah. Now, the question says, what's Pshat? Pshat is like this. Shelcha Gedur HaMishrahem. Torah is telling us a very important lesson in life. Aharon saw such a great Kiddush Hashem, such a great declaration, such advertisement, video camera, all over. And he felt such a great Kiddush Hashem, he should have been part of it. How come I'm not part of it? He felt bad. Abu Tvarko says, Aharon, don't make a mistake. Abu Tata Kiddush Baruch is not with camera, is not with declaration, is not with bringing commotion, such a great commotion. Abu Tata Hashem, Shelcha Gedra Mishalem, when you light, when you kindle the menorah, in the in the Betamidosh, nobody sees, nobody pays attention, but Shelcha Gedra Mishrahim. What you are doing, what you are accomplishing, brought up is much greater. That gives us a different system of value of life, value of what precious Tagad is part We are we are born and live in a society that all society understands how many cameras are there, how many, how many demonstrations is there, what is being advertised. But in Abu Dhat Hashem Shelcha, the corner that you sit down and learn Torah illuminates the world is much greater than whatever that others do. So that is the first. Now, why is this said Ba'alotcha? Ba'alotcha means going up. Rashi says, took shot him. Rashi says, because Rosh Rabbotenu, Shirkan Ma'ala Hatar Kamra, that was the steps in front of Mura, that you should go up and light the Mura. Mura is the light. Person, could give light in two different ways. One way, he gives light to show himself, to be selfish and self-centered. But the Hotspur who says, no, menorah that I have, you have to elevate yourself. That's to be steps before. You elevate yourself, and through that, you elevate the community. Not that you become a source of being selfish and self-centered, because I have this, I have that, I have that knowledge, I have this. And through that, you want to show yourself. You have to elevate yourself, you have to go up. Now, Rashi says different to Shad, the name of the flame, that flame has to go up. And from here, we learn very important When you are kindled the menorah of Hanukkah, or when the wife kindles the light, the nail of Shabbat, a lot of you could light two ways. One way you could make the fire, the match, and get it to the, to the candle and make a spark. And that the spark will become a flame. That's possible. That's not good. For Hanukkah is not good, for Shabbat is not good. 
the mitzvah of hadlakat in the road is that you have to keep your hand, you have to keep the match to the, to the candle till the flame goes up. When flame goes up, there's a flame, then you could leave. Just make it fall, it's not good. And that denotes what the education should be. If you just make a spark in a child and let the child grow, he will become a wild. He will not be good like I throws. Like you put a seed in the ground and let it grow. <laughs> what happens? Wheat grow out of it. Not the real fruit, real crop. Real crop has to be handled, has to be made. The flame should come out, you have to supervise, to handle, to polish, to make whatever that taste, that the flame should come up. Once there is the flame, then nothing will happen to the flame. Flame has its own fire, has its own heat. And as long as you are connected to flame, then you're going to be fine. At that point, Hashem, Moshe, Hashem, Moshe, Moshe, take the Levi, Hamon, Zayi, and retire them. This to do, do this to them, to retire them. You sprinkle the Mechatot, the water of purification, and you should, shall pass, take raise it on all of their body, and they should wash their garments, should go to meet them, and they should come to We've come to and it's a part of the car, it's hard, and it's meal offering. So the fine flour mixed with oil, and the second part, you should take for Khatot, I will bring the Levim in front of my and gather all of that that they say, and bring the Levim with Nashem, with some who will say, and all of the Kahari soil, they should be so much, they should lean, they should, all of the shin, they should, they should support their hands on the Levim, and Aharon should. Move, shake the shish, wave the levy, ten to four, a wave service in front of Hashem. Me when it's ever said, well, you are without Hashem, I should be serving the Hashem. Now, here, so I say that ceremony of choosing levy instead of the first form. Whether the abode of belong to first form, but since they did the egg, yet, Hashem took away from them. Now, everybody comes and puts their hands on the levy, the limb of the shrugim of Bene Israel to do abode for them. Now, like Moshe Adoshan Doshin, that since they did the head of Eger, they become like a Metzorah. Just like Metzorah needs to be shaved and needs to be as a Korban to be brought, the Holy Spirit also, there's the, there's the Korban of the Holy Spirit because of the of Eger Levim. Levim with the remedy for the head of Eger. That's why the Levim are chosen. The Halevim is with them, and Levim, they should clean their hand, support their hand on the head of the party, the bows. And one of them should be Hatha, one of them Ola, and to make atonement for Levi, Behemato, and should make the Levi stand in front of the Arab of Israel. Behemato, I should move them, the Hashem, and you should separate the Vim to open the cell, Bahaluli, and the Vim should be for me. Instead of the Bechor, I take the Vim. More we are up to Shemi. Perek, Hat, Pasot, Tetwa. And after that, the Vim should come to be serving Ohem Moed, and you should, you should metahel, purify them, and they shall wave them, wave of service. As a wave service, kinetunim, because they, for given over, given over, they are to me, the top of the Israel, Tacha, in the place of Pitzat, first issue of Korum, the whole first from Israel, but Tacha, I took them for myself, because all of the first born of Israel, other man and animal, the young, when I, I, when, when I, when I struck the, all of the first born of Israel, it dashed a sanctified autumn, all of them for me. Why I have to take the Levim in the place of the first one of Israel, by Tenor and I will give the Levim the Tunim to be given over to Aharon and children from the Bene Israel, the Avod Avodat to serve Bene Israel, the Ohenwet will happen and to make that one of Bene Israel, we hear Bene Israel, we will say they give plague, we give Bene Israel when they come close, the Absolute Apostle. Bene Israel, it's Avod Hukode. So this Pastor is saying that I was going to change. The first form with Levim, took the Levim. Now, if you notice, this possible possible of Utet, Perit Het, possible Utet, Torah, when there is the procedure of exchanging the Bechor and, and Levim, Torah says Ben Israel five times. Now, Rashi says, why do you say Ben Israel five times here? Rashi says, because I was one who wants to say that in this possible, the Etzem, in the very possible that Torah is saying that I'm taking Levim. In the of the Israel, the Bible says, 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 the
Those who are just like the meaning of Hamishah from Shea Torah 5, the Shea Torah of Chashu Bagh, whose expression of the thought of Hashem, the essence of the Hashem could be expressed in these five Sephardim, the Kahal is the expression of Hashem Bagh. They are so deep. Very interesting in the puzzle that the Hashem comes to exchange them, nevertheless mentions how, they de- how, or how dear they are to the Hashem Bagh. Therefore, when you have to do something, but don't forget, do it in a way elegant way, in a way that the person would not feel bad. They did Moshe and Moshe and did it and all of the Levim, Levim, Yashu Adar Shem Yisrael Levim, Shem also did with Israel. Therefore here, it's very interesting that puzzle is made. First of all, Aharon and the menorah did whatever that he was supposed to do. It's very important about the Hashem. When he wants to do a mitzvah, after a while, he wants to use the intuition of the mitzvah. But especially here, to change the Harisai with Bechor, there's a big movement in the Harisai. All of the first one, they would lose forever the Avada, but they did, they listen. And that's very important for us. They have to listen to Havosh Baruch They have to learn to accept the Mahmud Havashem, to accept the Gizrut of Havosh Baruch All of the parasha is that. This is the essence of being a Jew. I had to Levim, and Levim, Levim, and the Levites purified themselves, and they should wash their mercy garments to the mikveh. Aharon and Aharon waved them a wave service from Hashem. By Chapel Alem Aharon and provide atonement Aharon for them, the Tarot to provide them. And after that, Levim should come to, have, to, to serve to perform the service of Ahmed in front of Aharon from his children. Just as Hashem told Moshe, and Moshe concerned Levim, can also be. So they did to them so. This is from Levim. From 25 years old, Malab. And up, they should come to the to go into the service of the legend by Abu Dat or Hemoy, the word of Hemoy from they were 25. But the last approach is from 30. No, from 25, they're gonna come till 30 to learn. Five years they learn and 30 to Abu Dat. From here, we learn out it will tell me that he doesn't see Simon Beroha in learning for five years, he doesn't see him here. The being are trained for five years. It's important that anything that you want to give, you have to put training time for them. Women have a children from 50 years, Joshua, they can have a Tzavah Abadab, we have a children that would be more, and they should minister their brothers in Ohel Moed to watch the responsibilities. But Abadab, Abadab, they wouldn't do from 50 up. Tachat says, so you should do to the baby, if you're done, to their responsibilities. You are Perek Tet, Perek Ninth, Perek, Perek Shlishi. I tell Hashem, Hashem is going to Moshe Bar Sinai, Bashon Hashem's second year, when they came out from Sai, Bachod Hashem Le Mon. First of the month said, Bayasu is that you do Pesach, not the first Rosh Kodesh Nisan, so that should make Pesach the Madon this time, but 14th of 14th, uh, 14th of the month, this month, 14th of the Nisan, when Harbin in the afternoon, they should do Madon in Sway, Kehot, all of the decrees and all of the laws they should do. I tell you, Moshe, Moshe told Ben Israel, the Asad of Asad, they should do Pesach. By us to Pesach, and they did the Pesach, Barishon, and the first month, 14th, to Yom Chodesh Bar Marabayim, and Midbar Sinai, and just as Hashem said, Moshe, he can also be Israel. I am not sure. There were some people that were committed to Nebesh Adam. They were contaminated to the corpse of the human. Now, Rashi says, they were, the Gemara says that they were Tommy because they carried the coffin of Yosef. Or they were told me because they carried now that they died on Rosh Kodesh Nisan. They couldn't do Pesach on that day. On that day, they couldn't do Pesach because when you touch a corpse, then they need seven days to be stirred. They, they, you had to be sprinkled on, on the person to come to Ahur. They didn't have enough time to come to Ahur. They came close. They approached the approached between Moshe and Aaron on that day. Remember? And they said, Anashema, to him. They told him. We are Tommy, we became contaminated through a corpse of a human being. Why should it be precluded? Why should it be missing? Here they were announcing that the best excuse that they were possible on the mitzvah. And we could have said, okay, next year we will invest our next year. We will do such a great mitzvah. It wasn't our fault, it wasn't negligency. But still, they felt that the mitzvah is like a limb of a person. They have 248 limbs, they have 248 mitzvah. Every mitzvah, mitzvah is a limb of Ruhani, spiritual limb of Neshama. 
When you miss one, you miss him. It doesn't matter what the reason is. The person is missing. They say, Lama Nigara, why should you miss him? But the other one should be able to go to the proper time. You don't say, Yeah, I am Moshe. Moshe says, Imdu, stand up, Shma, I will hear what Hashem will command to you. Now, here you are. Now, everybody knows, Torah knows every Korban that they bring. It's not a memorial Korban or Mirror Yom Tov. Yom Tov is, every Yom Tov is, is, is not memorial, it's the essence of that day. Because the Raya Kodesh explains that the time is not a straight line. It's not the line that is further away and further away. The Raya Kodesh explains time is a circle. You're going to go through a Shona. Shona means Shona, it repeats itself. Now, the circle that goes. But when it comes to Pesach, we're going to be in the Nekuda that 3,000 years ago they brought around Pesach. That's why, that's why we bring Pesach. All of the Shefa that they brought is going to be there. That's why we have a Yom Tov to achieve and to bring. So everybody with the mind of Torah understands once you don't bring Urban Pesach, you are just gone. It cannot be done anymore. It's impossible. Baba Zemano, Batel Gorbano. Once the Zeman is passed by, the Gorban is Batel. You can't have another Gorban, nothing. But these people, they love the mitzvah. They want it. They came and they asked. Now, oh, Zohar HaKadur says, unbelievable for me, this is Such a lesson in life. Zohar HaKadur says, when a person is motivated, he has the love, he has dedication, like them they have. They came to Moshe Rabbeinu and said, Lama Nigara, why should you be missing? Hashem says, you love to do it, you want to do it, I make impossible to become possible. Even though that Gorban Pesach was gone, we cannot be Gorban Pesach, but Meshwar who brought a new mitzvah of Pesach, Pesach Shem. Pesach Shem cannot exist. Whoever understands the Torah, whoever is familiar with Torah, understands it's impossible. But Zohar Akadur says impossibility becomes possible because they ask for it, they want it. The Har Sohi wanted the Dushwa, wanted the Har. Person wants to finish Shas, Hashem helps him to finish Shas. Person wants to learn all of Shulchan Person wants to learn all of the Mishnah. When there is a love, there is a way, there is a way. If you show the love is for Akadosh Baruch Hu, you want to do Abu Dhat Hashem, but to be able to name on for Hashem, Hashem helps you to be. The Rosh, in other words, is what I call the Asra Sefirot. The highest Sefirot is Keter. Now, every Sefirot is in, in, in the person. And Keter is the most powerful. Now, Parallel to Keter, to in, in human beings are the Ratzon, what he wills, what he wants, the Shifa that he has, what is the dream of his life. And that is the essence of the person. After I'm running out of 20 years, the person, the Zohar Akadu says, the person in front of Abashwar is a piece of gold. Say, why? Why Abashwar says, Baruch say, why is a piece of gold? Because his Shifa in life was gold and silver. Somebody, they give him the, 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 the wind, wind. Why wind? Because arrogance. All was arrogance. Some people are the ash fire. Why? Because all his life was kin and jealousy. Some people become like a Sefer Torah. Because their love and dedication was Sefer Torah. Was the Ratzon Hashem. Somebody like the mitzvah of Matzah, he was supposed to never from Matzah. The mitzvah of Matzah comes and, and protects him, builds him up, gives him a statue. Therefore, whatever the ambition of a person is, that is the story of the sign. Whatever that the person wills and this ambition, it gives power. It gives Hashim. This will is like a sphere of Keter. Keter manipulates all of the other sphere in that direction of the Mahfud of Hashim. Once all Keter, our Ratzon is the kingship of Baruch Hu, the crown of Hashem, then that gives us power to carry. That gives us power. Person would feel, how could I live in Beverly Hills and our eyes should be covered? Our ears should be covered from Ashon Hara. How? Is this very dear the society? It doesn't depend on the society, it depends on the person himself. Person himself wants to be Kadosh, wants to Keter. Keter makes it possible because Keter is, is, is authority, is supervising, is governing. Keter is governing. Now, whatever that the character of a person is, is the government of your civilians, your environment. I was working on makes it possible to happen, makes it to go. And whatever the person wants is going to be. 
Therefore, this perception is such a great lesson for Baha'i Sahib. That's what Moshe Lemur tells Bani Sahib, saying, if a person is coming in Nefesh, come time in the middle of the soul, and be there, or be there, or be far away, and to the Pesach Hashem, and to the Pesach Hashem, on the second the month, Barbas or Yom, 14th of the month. It's not 15th, 14th of the Yom, because this is for, for one Pesach, it's not for the Yom Tov. Yeah, as you told, Al Matsum Rim Yokru, with the Matsum Rim Yokru, Rui Ashim should not remain from its morning, buffer, and the bone should not be, should shall not break. The, all of the laws of the Pesach should keep. Boyish Ashahu, Tower, somebody's Tower up there, and it's not the Erech of God, and he prevents from bringing Pesach when he has get carrots. Mitzvah Pesach is only, uh, there are two assets that the person gets started. One is Pesach, one is Bina, because it's very important, and Bishayim Amna, because Kalka Dab, Chibor Ban Hashem, Yos Ban Hashem, Yen Bin Chato Yisda, and he carries his head. Vichy Akulit Techem, and somebody converted to that with you, should be Pesach, to all of the laws of Pesach, and the Dechu Vahagad, Yilachem, who I got to be able to convert the Jew, even though it didn't come out from Stein and his four parts didn't come out, but still, Christ Mechadish Pesach belongs to him. When you walk in the Mishkan, when they established Mishkan, the cloud came and covered the Mishkan, the Ohedur, who ate the Yah Mishkan, the Buddha Mishkan, the Kimari Ashia Gogel, the Kimari Esh, the appearance of the fire till morning. Ten years from it, always, the Onon Yechasenu, the cloud will cover it, the Kumari Esh, and the appearance of the fire at night. When the onon comes up from the oil, and wherever that rests, they will rest. When it says, with the, with the word of our Torah, they move, and the word of Hashem, they come. All of the days that the onon, the, 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 the cloud would rest, they would, they would come. And prolonging onon, many days, the shom would be there. The responsibility of Hashem, so they didn't move. Sometimes the honor was Yomim Mitzvah for a number of days, and I'm shkon, and P. Hashem, with the word of Hashem, they come, and with Hashem, they move. And sometimes the honor were there from the Erev till Boker, when the Alehani came out of the Boker, when I saw they move, O Yom Abalayla, days and night, and the Alehanon, when I saw they move, and they move, or two days, or months, or Yomim Atalit Anon, when the Prolong Yomim Mitzvah, the Shkon Allah, they rested. And when they when the cloud moved, they moved. Al Pi Hashem in the world of Hashem, they camp. Al Pi Hashem saw Meshmeret Hashem. Rasulat Yahweh Hakadosh Baruch Hu. They kept Al Pi Hashem beyond Moshe. The word here is saying that every movement was with the, with the navigation. In other words, this parasha is going to become portion. He's saying that the navigation of their life was the cloud of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. That is the Torah. We have from Kite and the Torah. From Kai means you have your own life, you have your own navigation, but you just from Kai, you do some certain things. But here the pastor is saying the Bene Israel became Bene Israel when the navigation of their life became Havoc Bob. Says to move, they move, rest, rest. But of times in life, we say, why do you have to move? Right now it's very good. Everything is good. You shouldn't move. Or sometimes you don't want to camp here. It's not the right place to camp. There are some families that used to travel together. They would get a big car and go through different places. And we asked them what's happening. He said that this year we're not going to go together. Say why? Because it was very hard that everybody should be must to agree to a certain place. Someone to live, someone to rest, and they work out. Every family does it by its own. Therefore, you see that all people to come and they want to live. They listen to Hashem who to move when Hashem says move, when to. And you know, we have, we, we all, at the end of the day, we have our own inclinations. We want whatever that we want. Now, the Avodah of Avodah Shvarku is to magnify your rocks on Hashem and to know that's the best for you. If Hashem says, move, move, it's good. Hashem says, you don't have, you shouldn't camp here. Even though that external, external appearance looks it's beautiful and so good, but at the end of the day, it's not good. By that, Hashem, Hashem told Moshe, saying, you should make two trumpets for yourself, silver trumpets, you should make them, uh, you should hammer them out, one piece, but you know, it should be for the mirrors. Now, trumpets, what do you use it for? To call when you're summoning the nation, and when the journey of day comes, they talk about him, and they should blow with them, with other, all of them gather to you, and if one, one, if they blow one long blast, 
they gather to you leaders. Rashi al said, the heads of them said, Utrat and Teron, when you sound the short blast, you know, so Amachanot, Machanot, they move, Achon Machanot, the eastern one, the east side, Utrat and Teron, and the second Teron, short blast, and they move the Chonim Temana south, Teron, Israel, Teron, they should blow short blast for the movement, when they gather in Tiru, Brokhaliu. When they gather in, they should be long blast and not the short blast. The children of Naron, the Shlo, the Hasso Trumps, the Hoyo Lachem, should be the Tugadon, the key for every of them. And when they come, Milham of Artechem, in your land, Al Hatar, the oppressor that is oppressing you, Baharot and Bahasso, you should make short blast. The Scatem should be remembered by Hashem, and Hashem would say, You, Yosem Hatem, your Simh of Madekem, Amrashem Shoshe, would cut him Bahasso, you should blow the third of them as a Shakem. On your Bourbon of Ola Shami, or the other version. The same, I have several persons. They were here trumps, trumpets, they blew the trumpets. What's the idea behind it? I'm a little bit point here. So I saying that on the saddest moment, the tragedy is a trumpet. And the highest joy and symbol is trumpets. Means a Jew always has the address in fact. Jew is not lost. The same trumpets that leads us. In the hardship of life, the same trumpet is there at the most joyful point of life. But well, is they are not lost. The going are lost because in the saddest moment they don't know what to do with themselves. And the happiest moment, believe it or not, they don't know what to do with themselves. There's an article is written that the highest people in their field they go crazy. Why? Because once they get to the height, they got it. There's no other city. There's no place to go anymore. Once they get another, as long as they get to height, they have ambition to become higher and higher. Once they get to the peak, then what is it? There's no motivation. There's nothing. But Torah tells us a Jew always has an address, has an ambition, has a place to move. Person, one day, two days before his death, still he wants to gather more mitzvah, wants to gather a life. Of a guy after getting 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 old, a little bit old, then he says, Life is not life. I want to die. Because life, there is no purpose in life to begin with. But the Jew, in the saddest moment, happiest moment, we have trumpet of our Shpur. We are with Hashem to protect us, to guide us, and to tell us every second of life is meaningful. With the second of life, we become a So that's the idea of trumpet here, to have the same music by the not by the by the happiest moment and the same music by the saddest moment. By Bashan Ashid, that was the second day Bahod Shashi and the second month, we see Bahod Shuni after not, not Ali Hanon, Anon came out by Shuan Dut, by the same move in the journeys, the Barsana, by Shuan Hanon, by Shuan Hanon, by moved for Shuan Al Piashim and Moshe, by Shuan Dik and Mahani Ben Yuda, Ner Yuda, the king moved first, by Shuan Hanon first, and on his legends, the religion of Shuan Hanon, it's not seen. And with Yehuda, Yehuda is Mitzra, and the first Machane is the king, and the king goes with Issachar and Zebulun. Issachar is Torah, and Zebulun is supporting Issachar. Issachar is the second star, and Seba Matez Zebulun, Eliyahu Ben Chelum. And then once they move, this section they move, they bring down the Mishkan. That's talking about the movement of God's up. First Yehuda and his legend moves with Issachar and Zebulun, then they put down the Mishkan and the Benegation come and the Mirari, the carriers of the Mishkan, and the Venasa, then Machanet Reuben, let's see what Tom, the, the Reuben is, which is in the south, they move, Barsewa is Uben Shur, Barsewa Mateven Shimon, in other words, Reuben is, now Yehuda is the lion, Reuben is Adam from four images, Adam means the Shuba, Reuben is the pillar of the Shuba. The greatness of Adam is not that it doesn't do the sin. The greatness of Adam is it does sin, it does shuba. And the woman is with Shimon because Shimon needs a lot of shuba because our master Zimri ben Salu should help him from a zib. And the woman is God. God is the kibura. We need the kibura of God to do the shuba. We not to have our team. And then the kahatim they will move the same yadash. We need him with Amishkan. And they would stop the front at the bomb. We also have to get Machani Ben Ephraim. Now, Ben Ephraim, they are young. Children of Rachel, they are in the West. West is Shekhinah. 
Rachel is crying over the Shekhinah should come back. Of Israel, that the Shekhinah should be resting on them. These two Pesukim are 
در سیمان این بیفور آن افته تو کسی که میده تو را خاطر لامده آن را میگو. اندی نداد اخیر دست و یه هم میتونیم اندی پرپرپیکل سیکین کمپلینت را به اون هشم. That was even in the ears of Hashem. By Shema Hashem, Hashem heard, by Yechal, Apu, and he, he got angry, by Tim Arbam Esh, and he burned them with fire, by Tuchal Bistam Achane, and consumed them in the age of the camp. By Yisach Hamel Moshe, and they screamed to Moshe, and Moshe davened for them, by Tishra Ha'esh, and subsided the fire, by Yerashim HaMogamahu, and they called the name of that place, Tabira. The place of Tabera means burning, ki ba'ara ba'mish Hashem, Hashem burned it. Then after that, the Hasaf Tashem Bechibu, the riffraff, in other words, the low basis people that was in, among them, it abu ta'aba, they wrote themselves for a craving by a shubu ba'ibku, and they came back and they cried, and they said, and they said, mi ya'chan ba'asar, who gave us meat? So Akhano, we remember the fish that we ate in Islam, khinam, free. Rashi says, what's free? They wouldn't give them a straw free. They wouldn't. Kinam in Hamitzvot, Rashi says. It was Kinam. It was free from the Mitzvot. In other words, it yuk. Yuk kabak kodesh barfu would not be on us. We could do whatever that they wanted to do. Etak ishoyim, the cucumbers, the melons, and the hatir, the leeks, and the, the uh, onions, with hashumim, and the garlic. Bahatan afshin evesha. And now our life is parched. In coal, there is nothing built it among, only a man in our eyes. Now the Navi Torah says, the man, he said, like God, like the seed of uh, coriander, like God, uh, who, we know, like the Gishnis, who, you know, and its appearance can like the appearance of Bedolak. Uh, Bedolak is like a crystal. It was very nice. Right? Shot to her arm, they would gather and they would. Uh, Gather and Tohanu, they would grind it, refine in the in the meat and pound it by Meduha in mortar, Kubishiru Baparur, and they cook it in a pot and they made a good cake by Tamu. And the taste of that, the Tam, and the shad of a dough, needed dough, Hashem with oil. Overrated that Tar, when they came down Tar, and the two on Mahane on the camp, yes, Laila at night, they had a man of a man would come on it, want to say the description of what it come. Aishma Moshe Ha'am, and Ishmael Moshe Ha'am, the Holy Spirit of God, and after that, I said, I said, God, thank you, but then Moshe Ra, but Ra, even Moshe Hashem, Rama, I will call out the Why did you back to your Neshev? Rama, I must have been there for. Why didn't you find this to assume it, Master Kuramase? He put the bread of all of this nation on me. How no clarity, Kuramase? Did I give birth? Did I conceive all of this nation? Did I give birth to the Saint Tomar that tell me? Sa'ehu, you should carry them bechidecha in your bosom. Kashayi saw a woman just like a nurse carries a young infant. Al Hadama, Hashem Shabbat Avotam. Ma'ayili, how do I find basar to give to this nation? Kiev could they cry over me, saying, "Tell Allah to give me basar." We know how to do it. Yo, Chayyim, I cannot carry by myself all of this nation. He covered me; it's heavier from me. The imkacha, and if that is how you deal with me, at at is written at all, it says at you. Now, Tashash Kucha, like a woman. Now, Rashi says, why is this at female instead of male? Because Tashash Kucha, in other words, became a weekend, like a Imkacha at Osteri, in other words, it became a weekend, like a, like a, like a lady. Tashash Kucha, she was a Moshikin, 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 in other words, Tashash Kucho is Kuah became weakened like a Nikiba, like a female. Because when he saw the Quran, that is what brings it to them. Hargen in Oharo, kill me, he must not take a banner about the Kerebin Arati. And I should not see the, the, in the evil that ha- befalls me. Right. In other words, it's very interesting that the last leader of the Harisra, the leader of Harisra, sees all of his prestige and all of his being in the nation. When the nation are being punished, they, it feels nobody, nothing. He says, you sh- I should be destroyed. Because if I would have been a good leader, that would not have happened. He doesn't blame the nation, he blames himself. Gather for him seven years, and he says, I don't care, he says, I should wrap up, I don't care, he says, I'm the eldest of the nation, and you should take them away. He says, you should stand on you. 
‫והראתי, אני קמדון ודיברתי, ‫אני רוצה להגיד לך את זה, ‫ואוסרתי, אני רוצה להגיד לך את זה, ‫ואני 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 רוצה להגיד And to the nation tell them, it's not a shunem of Allah. Prepare yourself tomorrow, and we're going to eat basar. Keep the heat in because we cry in the ears of Hashem, saying, Mi yachin wa tohu gives us basar. He told all of us, saying, Mishraim is better for us. You know that Hashem would give you basar, and you're going to eat. Not one day you're going to eat, not two days, not five days, not ten days, not twenty days, till month, at asher yetzim ba'abachim, that it should come out from your nose. Or you're going to say, it should be for you, Zahra, stranger. Yan he must have with Hashem because as seeing that you rejected Hashem that's among you. But Tivku that he prepares everything for you. But Tivku and you cried in front of Hashem. Rama say I saw him say what he does from his time. He complained is that Hashem is there. Remember Moshe six hundred thousand foot soldiers armed Hashem. 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 All of the cow and all of the cattle that I should shift for them, matzalaim would be enough for them. If it could be yam, if I would gather all yam, it would be good for them. Now it's very interesting. But Son Bagar says it's shachet, but fish is gathered from here. We learn out that source that Son and Bagar needs shachita and fish doesn't need. When Hashem Moshe had Hashem to saw, the hand of Hashem is limited. I thought here now you see I look at the way my words will happen or not. ‫את זה משה, משה ואי דבר העם, ‫דברי השם, ראו אותו השם, ‫ואני אגר דעת דסלמי פיפר מזנעם, ‫והם אותם סבוד אור ובאת, ‫והילד השם, השם כן בעונן, ‫והיית אספורט להם, ‫ויעצם מן הרובה החשורה, ‫אני השם took extended from the spirit ‫that was on משה, ‫אני גאו את סבוני פיפר, ‫זה גנים, ‫והי כאילו בחלם הרובה החשורה, 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 ‫ ‫אמרנו לנו את אלדוד, ‫ואז מה שאומרים אלדוד, ‫אבל על השם, ‫על התנא, על רוח, על רוח, ‫על רוח השם, ‫אז זה הפודם, ‫אני אבוא לידי כתובים, ‫ולא יצאו היונה, ‫אני אבוא לידי כתובים, 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 ‫אני אבוא לידי You cannot select people just like that, because especially people like this that we want to thank them, but the people they want to be part of it. Now the question is, we choose six from every shevet. The answer one shevet more than the other shevet. Discrimination is not good. You have to do it in a way to do justice. Now Moshe Sapir says, okay, what should we do? We should give every shevet six people, and then we're going to make it goral from this seventy-two. We're going to use seventy, and two would be. would not be part of it. Even though that Moshe Rabbeinu knew that these two people would be embarrassed, but there's no other way. If we do the other way, there's a machlok of it when the Holy Spirit. It's better sometimes to do something like that rather than having machlok. But Eldad and Medad, these two people felt that it's not nice because the name would come up and they would be embarrassed, they didn't go. Now, in the Gosha world, you would tell them, you would, you would to put them down, being stupid not using the opportunity, you have such a great opportunity, you use not to use. But in Torah Dike learns, you see that those people were Navi and they were brought one Nebuah and they stopped, but they were Navi for the rest of their life. The Machane, I tell you, Machane, they were Nebuah. There were a lot of times Torah works the other way. Now, in this world, we learn to be grabbing. If you grab, you have the opportunity, you have, you don't not. But here, they feel for others, they say that, you know, it's not nice to people, they would come out. Didn't Moshe Rabbeinu think about it? Of course, Moshe Rabbeinu thought about it. But Rabbeinu said, it's better than creating machlokes. At least, this is better. Not from bad and worse, you should bad. But here, the Eldad and Medad, they self-sacrifice. You know, we don't want, we don't want the greatest. Because it's not worth it, another Jew become embarrassed. And here, Eldad and Medad got a lot of nubu and a lot of recognition from Abu Dushbarhu for what we did, and we learned from here, how sensitive a person has to be with other people not to embarrass, to, not to embarrass anybody. But as an ad, and the Nar run, that was Yeshua, and told Moshe saying, Ba'el da'adu medad, mitnabim, you are prophet, pro prophesying in the Machane, Ayan Yeshua binun, Meshayat Moshe, bin Bechara, bin Marasat, Adoni Moshe Kulayim, Moshe, should I, should I, should I put them in prison, prison them, Moshe, Hamgane, Dattali, 
you are being uh, zealous uh, to me, me then, me then uh, wish could harm one of the nation would be without being prophets. He then Hashem would do for that Hashem would screw on them. I also say Moshe the Amarane, and Yadi the Bakane was in Israel, the Ruba Nosa made Hashem and my brothers is from my brothers of him and from Yom, by to Shara Makane, and they spread out the Makane, he did a Yom, the way the journey of one day. From this day and the journey of one day from the other, say with them all of the all, all around the Mahane, the journey of one day where Slav dispersed, they were around about time at and there were two cubits, close to two cubits on the first face of the land. And they gathered all of the birds, dispersed birds, and I eat Hasar Hasar of one the, the, the one who least. Gathered ten chomarim, ten chomers, Aishatu Lahem, Shatu, Aishtehu, and they spread them out, spread Shatuba, say what around the Mahane, Abasa or Dinabenstein, the meat was uh, among the, in, in between their teeth, telling her before consume, but Ahashem Harabon, the anger of Hashem Harabon flared against them, but Yah Hashem, but on Makarabon. And Hashem struck this nation against nation, Maka Ebulu, that was mighty to the extreme. Now the Russian say that we don't have such a such a punishment in Torah. Maka Rabba Meod, Maka Rabba Meod. Rabba Meod and says, Vayak Hashem, Midat Rahamim became Midat Adin. Therefore, here, Makkah Rabba Meod, first of all, the Russian say, why is it Makkah Rabba Meod, blue, that was mighty to the extreme? We don't have such expression so far in Torah, that was all punishes such a severe punishment. And then the other thing is that, the other thing is that with that Rahami became with that thing. No, and the other question you have here is that, why the Mushabin Dabin here? It doesn't say that Mushab and Bay Roshim Hamabamahu, they call the Hibrot at Arba, not the Hibrot at Arba, the grave of Taiba, not the name, the name of the essence. Taiba is the grave of person. Pastor Shan Gotten, a person goes after Taiba, is digging his own grave. Kisham Kauru, because over there they buried the home, I mean, the nation that they had been craving, near the Hibrot at Arba, they built home Hasrod, Hiba Hasrod, and Hasrod. Therefore, here, Makkah Rabba Meod, such expression, we don't find any place. Now, the first thing said, why Hakkadosh Baruch got so angry at them? And the other thing is that why Moshe didn't daven for them? Okay, now, the first thing said, one of the, this is a very essential point in Torah. That you have to realize and you have to understand. One of the greatest sin in Torah is somebody, in other words, what is punishment for them? What, what happened here? I was who gave them mom. And mom had any type of taste that they want. And Torah testifies mom, Kizela God, right? The mom was Kizela God, the Nokia and the Dora, and it was like a, like a time with Shad Hashomen, right? And, and there was such a such a great blessing that was really gave to a person. Holy you know, Bible explains what approves a person to lose not only about that Hashem, to lose humanity is lack of value. The base of a person becoming a person, the base of a humanity, the base of all Torah Kula is a product of a Makir Tov. Somebody who's done Makir Tov, then forget it. Nothing is working. You teach him Torah, you teach him Mr. My Menai Rabbi Nuberger of Bishigat Baltimore, any Bahur that was not good had problems. But somebody who wasn't Makito doesn't show gratitude. 
is done Makir to what's being done to him, nothing would help him. Nothing would go to him. What is there, Akhrat to people should be Makir to to the system, Akhrat to the things. Once Rabbi Aaron Kotzer, the Roshiv of Lakefoot, usually they accept the buffering right after Sukkot. They had only one empty bed in the yeshiva, and last two bathrooms came for the pahel, for the test, to choose one of them for the bed. Both came. Now, it was after Sukkot, the Aaron Kotzer saw this buffering or came from the window, he saw far the buffering coming. While they are coming, there was some sechach on the floor, on the ground. And one bachur went around the sechach. The other bachur stepped on the sechach and came. And there was a tfahe. The one that stepped on the sechach was a genius. Such a brilliant person. It was the only genius. The other was average, less than average. Aaron Kotler chose the less than average, not the other one. The rabbi, rabbi that they were there was surprised. They say, how come? How come you choose this one over the other one? This one is much greater. Aaron explains that, you know, this one stepped on success. Somebody would allow himself to step on the success, not to understand, not to recognize the greatness have gratitude, the mitzvah of Hodesh Baruch Hu, this doesn't grow in Torah, no matter how much Torah it has, no matter. Here, Moshe Rabbeinu couldn't daven and pray for them because here the problem was not having a part of Torah, not to make you talk to Hodesh Baruch Hu. And they deserve such a great punishment, not to have that one. Hodesh Baruch Hu gives us a lot of blessings in our life. Not to make you talk to Hashem. The last lack of a part of Torah that something is not available for our Shabbat. There was this Makkah Rabbah Me'od below that was mighty and to the extreme. <laughs> this expression we never find in Torah. Why? Because of the lack of Akhrat Torah. Now let's go back. Then we were talking about, therefore we have two parashim. In other words, a lot of times you hear that the people say, swear to seven separate Torah. What is seven separate Torah? Swear to seven separate Torah. Well, we don't have seven secret Torah. We have only five secret Torah. But well, as somebody, why do we say that? They say that, you know, maybe in their city, they had seven secret Torah in their shoe. And they, they, but if every city is like that. They, they swear to seven secret Torah. Now, this is a puzzle in Mishnah. Shulamele says, when I was created the world, he extracted the Amud in the pillar seven. Now, Mepharshim said, what Shura Melech is denoting? Seven pillars? They say seven pillars are seven secret Torah. No, there is some aspect, you don't have five secret Torah. You have seven secret Torah. You have Hamisha from Torah, some aspect, Reshi, Shemmo, Vaihra, Bamit, Vardegwari, but in some aspect, they have seven secret Torah. Now, if there are seven secret Torah, what are the seven secret Torah? Bamit Bar becomes three secret Torah. Bamit Bar is first till this puzzle one sefer. This two pesukim that with the noon are designated another sefer, and after that another sefer. There were these three or three sephorim, three sephorim, the, the description of sefer Bamidba. So if Bamidba becomes three sephorim, and four sephorim becomes seven sephorim. There were in some ways, we have seven sephorim Torah, not five sephorim. And these two Pesuki, by itself, becomes one Sefer. But it's very, first of all, it's very interesting that one Sefer becomes three Sefer. And I think something more interesting is that how come two Pesuki becomes one Sefer? You know, you have all of the Breshit is one Sefer. All of the Shemot is one Sefer. All of the Bahira is one Sefer. How could two, two Pesuki become one Sefer in itself? And what's the significance of Sefer Bamidbar becoming three safari in itself, each one of them in itself. Now, the question is like this. Let's understand what is the we are talking about. There is a makhluket should be said, the truth should be said, 
that there is a machloket in the Mishnah between Tanoim. What's the simonim for? One Tano learns that this simonim are there not for secret Torah. He doesn't learn secret Torah. He learns the simonim are there because to separate between punishment and punishment. Going to Ramban, here we are talking about three punishment, and we know the Goran Babatra says three times the Chazaka. Now, to differentiate, to separate between punishment and punishment, is to pursue what says here. The Nun Apucha means, Nun means, Nun is 50, sub means that the place of this Tupesukim are not here. It's 20, 50 portions before. They have to go 15 portion, portion before. It's over there, there has to be this Tupesukim, not here. Therefore, it is 50, 50, 50, 50 Pesukim in front. In other words, it has to go back. It has to go back. Uh, it has to go back. Now, over there, that talks about Machanot, or this Tupesukim are blanks there. Therefore, now, what are the three punishments here? One punishment is the punishment of one punishment is the punishment of they ask the the right after Dava Yaham to be done in Rabbi Nashem. They 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 complain. Rabbi Nashem, Rabbi Nashem, Rabbi Nashem, Rabbi Nashem. Then with Onanim, then we have Asaf to Hashem be Gilbo. Tabu Tabu. No, the word. What does the Tabu Tabu mean? What does the Tabu Tabu mean? So this Abu. What's the Tabu Tabu? See, look at the pasuk of Dali. This is Asaf to Hashem. What is Tabu Tabu? The Tabu Tabu tells us something very important. In other words, somebody, in other words, they were in the camp of the Dusha, camp of Tahara. When you live in the camp of the Dusha of Tahara, you should enjoy the Dusha of Tahara. Have satisfaction from them. That's why in Shabbat, we dive in, it's over there, it is Sabeh Numi Tubach. What is Sabeh Numi Tubach? Sashiyed us. Give us severe fulfillment through your blessings. Sayyid Kodesh Baruch Hu, give us fulfillment through your blessing that you should be satisfied. You should not go on the wrong Pleasures, wrong thing. There's a person that has every person has capacity of sin, pleasure. This capacity has to be filled up. If you fill it up with the worship of the world, it's true. If not, therefore, I was wrong, give us Shabbat, give us a lot of pleasure and enjoyment in life that the person should have. And this is the Yerush Talmi. Yerush Talmi says that God's Bible gives judgment to a person that I gave you such a joy and pleasure, was mutar, why didn't take like Nazi last week? That's when he had because he made wine also on himself. No? Avraham says, no, I gave you whatever that's also, that's also. Whether that's muta, that's why the Persians have a minha, they have, have a fruit, fresh fruit, new fruit, they get, and he says, from Yerushalmi, Yerushalmi says, any new pleasure that comes, any pleasure, the person would give judgment, cheshmon, and nefesh. Why didn't you take it? Because that pleasure would have helped you to be over Hashem better. Of course, there's a limitation with the Gidolim of Torah, with the sight of Torah. But a person cannot just uh, cut off himself. Therefore, th therefore, a person has to have pleasure from the Ruchmi. Now, if a person doesn't, that's why Dabin Pleasure Sabin Mitwak fulfill us with the pleasure of the Ruchmi from Shabbat. Shabbat, the person has to be best food, best drink, whatever that he likes to have. That should have to fulfill his own pleasure. That should not be hungry. Hungry man is dangerous. Now, Torah says, Dabu Taiba means they have Taiba for Taiba. What is Taiba for Taiba? In other words, somebody is sitting down, he's enjoying himself, everything is good. But he's craving for crave. Why are you craving for crave? <laughs> Let's imagine somebody is going to yeshiva and everything is good. And you know, well, from the sun, just goes to Bene Barak and lives there with the Kiddush Abitara. And then he tells him, he says, no, I want to go back to the sun. Why do I want to go back to the sun? Because it's full of Taiwan. In the Taiwan to be over that shape, I like it better. In other words, the point is like this, that why is he saying that? He's not saying that because he's being over the shame. He's saying that because he has problems. He wants the taiba. He wants to go after the desire. You know, the itabu tabo. That's what Hashem didn't like. Sometimes the person traps. Sometimes the person creates a taiba for himself, it abu tabo. In other words, use your taiba for Abu Dada Hashem for doing the right things, for the positive things, things that's muta. Baruch Hashem, Abu Shabbat gives us a wealth of pleasure. Now, with Abu Tabo, a person would have a desire for the wrong desire, that doesn't get trapped. The desire for desire, that's wrong. But they justified it. We want it that we should overcome, and that would be better about that Hashem. But the benefit of that and the line of that was they wanted the Taiba. They didn't want Abu Dat Hashem. That's why they got. And the first punishment, on, there are two punishments. First punishment by Isu Bahar Hashem, the Prophet Muhammad Gimel. They moved from Harabashim. In other words, 
they learn Torah, and after leaving the Betamidrash, they were happy. They say, oh, if we would have stayed, we would have been loaded more. Hashem would give us more mitzvot, more things. In other words, the a person has to understand he saw our life, the is our life, the Halchod is our life, Torah is our life. But it's to Mahar Hashem, like Tinok Boreyach Mibet Asefer, like a child that runs away from learning. In other words, running away from the learning makes the learning. See, Torah is not like a knowledge. Torah is a relationship. Imagine you go on a date with a girl, and after the date, you run away. <laughs> you had the best time, you gave the best time to the girl, but the girl notices that you run away. Therefore, that is a sign of rejection that destroys everything. It's not a matter of knowledge of Torah. It's a matter of attitude. I used to Mahar Hashem. When a person runs away, he messes up everything. No matter how much you learn, no matter, it has to be a good attitude, good atmosphere. So love, dedication, understanding how to understand the Amitzvah. There were there are three punishments here. Hakadosh Baruch put these two pesukim here to separate between the punishment and punishment, not to be three altogether. That's one Tana lens. The other Tana says that no. Okay, by Mitzvah Aaron, it's a safer to Abraham. Safe. No, why does it become a safer to Abraham? Safe by Mitzvah Aaron means moving of the Aaron by Hashem. Uma Hashem of the Chamer to Hashem. Hashem get up and all of the enemies are gone. Resting of Hashem, Shuba Hashem, and the very best time. He talks about Hakadosh Baruch Hu moving, Hashem resting. Not the word. Not shell of Torah is in life. Hakadosh Baruch Hu should be like navigation of your life. With the raising of Hashem, you rise up. Hashem says, do it, you do it. Hashem says, don't do it, you don't do it. A lot of things you love yourself to be doing that, and doesn't happen. You become so disappointed, you become depressed. He says, no. We understand you are the Hashem, your Shekhina is with us. We know that you are with us. We, instead of sign of disappointment, has to know the immune of faith of the Shabbat. And that's a natural of Torah. That's why, in other words, we have Sefer of Breshit, Breshit, Sefer Breshit, is the Sefer of, of, of formation of Amisroy. That's the last creation. That's creation. Last creation is the creation of Amisroy. Because Amisroy brings the Holy uh, world to the Tachli. Shemot is the Sefer of Torah and Shekhinah. The Holy Soil comes to the Tachli. Vaikra is corresponding. Hashem gives them Korbanot, all of the laws. Sefer Babitba is practicing. Once we have a nation, we have the laws, now we are going to the Midbar. There is nothing there, like a boy and a girl, they go on a day on a very nice scenery, beautiful scenery, and they get married. No, we don't know she got married to the scenery or she got married to him. She married to the money or she... Midbar means there is nothing. There's no life, nothing. You are married to the Shabbat. You got nothing in life. There is no life. There is no, there is no mansion. There is nothing. And that creates the Achdu together. Therefore, Sefer Bamishbar is the relationship of having a Mishra and a Now, that relationship has three parts into it. One part, we start with individuals counting. Every individual is important for itself. Every individual has a role. Camps of the Holy Spirit. When marriage, everybody has a role. Everybody has a position. Wife is the queen of home. If the husband deals with the wife like a queen, then he's a king. And if the husband deals with the wife like a queen, then he's king. And if the wife deals with the husband like a queen, the positions, the individuality. It's not, a, not just a, your mother of a relationship. Everybody has to recognize somebody else, recognize the children, the individuality of each person. Then we have a guidance. This sefer, to Pesuki, is a navigation of our life. We are not lost here. We have accuracy. We know how to guide ourselves. We're not getting all information from Hollywood. We're not getting from the aunt. We're not getting from the uncle. We're getting from Torah, straight from Torah. This is the right guidance in life. That puts us in position. That makes us not to be selfish and self-centered. Because if you are selfish and self-centered, there is no relationship. Here, Hakadosh Baruch Hu says, first part of the Bamidbar individual, every individual has a role. Then navigation of life is Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Total, it's back to Hashem. Then the Pesukim. After that, 
is what goes together with the Hakodesh Baruch Hu and the Holy Spirit. To understand everything has consequence. Everything has consequence. This is the way you put in, how much you put in your marriage, you get. What will that be planned, you get. You're lazy, you don't plan the way, you don't get. This is, this is separate from it all together. So I'm going to consider of three things. Every individual is how she put itself. Then two pesukim are not sure of everything because every relationship needs navigation. And every Khatam Kara that he married, I write in the other mentor. Mentor cannot be your rabbi, her rabbi. Mentor has to be somebody that knows both of them. Guide you. Navigation. This is a circle for itself. Navigation is Hashem says, get up. A lot of times in life, you want to get up. But Hashem says, no, you become disappointed. You manipulate everything. You make it happen. But Torah says, no. Therefore, these are what's happening here that this sefer of Bamidbar becomes three safari. From that on is a consequence. Now you have everything said, navigation, if you go up. Other sometimes you go to Israel, you have to go to places that is between the Arabs. They need the expert to take you. If you make a wrong turn, you can go to a dangerous place. That's our life. If we go, navigation is not right. We go make a wrong turn, it's dangerous. Therefore, these two pesukim are telling us the importance of navigation. And after that, consequences. And you see the consequences talks about, you know, you are, you are, you are in a good place. Why do you crave for wrong things? Why do you, why do you, why, in other words, they say the mushroom. What? You are happy, everything is going well. Why are you going this place that creates Taiba for you? Taiba means death. People are Taiba. Why do you open such a chapter for yourself? You know it's a dangerous chapter. Don't open it. Don't open it. Torah says don't open it. It's a consequence. Once we get off from the navigation, we go wrong place. We see wrong things. Therefore, they had Taiba, they died. Now, after that, we're going to talk about a few minutes about the Chet of Miriam, and that's the last piece of Dorsh. But that Miriam Aharon Moshe, they spoke much of Aharon Moshe, Alotot Aisha Kushit, regarding to the Kushit woman that Moshe got, Kisha Kushit Al 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 on that, Miriam and Aaron, they spoke together and they said, what? We have a marital relationship, how come Moshe doesn't have it? Again, it's a consequence. Even by Moshe and Aaron, even the leaders and the standard, the stature of Torah, they have to be careful with their mouth, what they say. So exempt. Since you are a big stature, it doesn't mean that you could say whatever that you want. Or you have a privilege. Again, is it Third part of the Sefer Bamidbar. Third part of the Sefer Bamidbar is once you have a navigation, don't go up of the navigation. It costs. Even if you are a big stature, like Moshe Bahar, like Aaron and Miriam, be careful. Now, what was the Yimru Harar Ach Moshe the Bashem? That Hashem is spoken only to Moshe. Alu Gambanu, to that thing, Yavishma Hashem, Hashem heard. Baish Moshe Anna Mud, Moshe was very humble. Mikul Adam Ramon is Alpine Adama. Hashem pit on, all of a sudden to Moshe Aaron, when we done. All of a sudden, Hashem spoke to them, and they were, they weren't, they were contaminated. They couldn't be. They say, oh, I have to go to Mikveh. They understood that the was Moshe to be clean all the time. So we should have to come all of you. Hashem came down in the Amudonon. Please listen to me. If you are a Navi, Hashem Bamara, Hashem in a vision to him. It was I made myself, Halmada Bero, dream speak to him. No, he now demos. If there's a Navi with the Navi, I teach, I speak to vision or dream. No, he now demos. My servant Moshe is not like that. The whole Betin Eman who in all of my houses trusted, PLP, mouth to mouth, I speak to them. Umare in a clear vision, Brobek, he does not read them. Put to Nada Shedda with the image of what one who is gazes. Matualo Yeretem. Why don't you after Leda Bear to speak the Avdi Bemoshe? My Ebed, my servant, even though that wasn't Moshe. Moshe, it wasn't my servant. No, we spoke against Abdi Moshe. I have Hashem bomb. I got to get angry at them and we laugh at them. The Anon saw and the cloud got removed from the oil. We named Yom Surat and Yom was afflicted Surat Shulik. 
Aksro, Baifu in Aharan and Sobi Jabi in the Surah and Surah, Bayumi Aharan Mushe, Aran Mushe, Biadoni, I beg you, Katash Lan and Hoda, should not put sin upon us, I should, no honor, I should be foolish, I should sin to you, I'll not even be like a mate, I should be said that it comes out from the womb of his mother. No, we are brother and sister. You should tell brother for doubling for your sister, and it's, it's, it's you're, you're half of your best flesh. You dove for all of the Hadith, you dove for sister. I said, Moshe Hashem, no more. Hell, no, no, no. Please, Hashem, cure in front. He didn't prolong the filler because he says that if I prolong this filler for my sister, everybody says, Oh, he dove so much for his sister. No. Hey, Hashem, Moshe, you are we are. Hashem told Moshe, and father, he spit before her in the face. I don't you call him if a father spit on the face of a daughter, I don't you call him she would be embarrassed, humiliated for seven days. She started, you should be granted, granted for seven days, but so again, young money, and it was granted seven days, well, no, no, so no, the the, the unknown move, but I said they move. Why? That was the sechot that was given to Miriam. Miriam stood on her foot to see what happens to baby Moshe. Now the Vashti says, Rambam says, what's the Lashon Haradu? The Chora, it's not the real Lashon Haradu. Rambam says over here, if you get Rambam, Rambam says, even though that Miriam didn't say something denied about Moshe they say something ugly about Moshe Rabbein. They say Moshe Rabbein is a thief. They say Moshe Rabbein is a good leader. They say Chassid Shalom, nothing like that. Meshavah Oto, like other Nevi'im, he just makes him equal to other Nevi'im. Very interesting. Rambam says, the Lashon Hara of Miriam, he didn't say something denied. He didn't say something ugly about Moshe Rabbein. What she did, she do, Ma'aharon. They equalized Moshe to other Nevi'im. And Rambam is telling us what the Yesod of Lashon Hara. Lashon Hara, we are not trying to say something ugly about somebody else. Lashon Hara, the Yesod of Lashon Hara is when we don't evaluate people in the right measurement, right understanding, right scope of mind and perspective. HaKadosh Baruch is telling Moshe, Miriam, Aharon, you live with Moshe Rabbeinu, you see the Kedush of Moshe Rabbeinu, you see how Kadosh he is, you see the word of Torah, you see the stature, and you cannot realize that he's not like every other Navi. You just take it as the every other Navi. You underestimate Moshe Rabbeinu. You don't evaluate Moshe Rabbeinu, evaluate Moshe Rabbeinu, the right measurement, the right stature of Moshe. You are living with Moshe. You don't put pay the attention that how stature, how big Moshe Rabbeinu is, underestimating and not evaluating properly. That is the root of Lashon Hara. If we evaluate people in the right measurement, understand where they're coming from, what are they doing, what the challenges of their life, what is he doing, always you find something positive to say about the person. But if we are judgmental, if we don't have this nikuda, this myth of evaluating people properly, then even about Mushrabin, you find some type of fault. And that is the Yisod of Lashon Hara. Yisod of Lashon Hara, Rahman says, you are not trying to say, you know, you mishate, you equalize, you don't understand, evaluate people according to the measurement that they are at, at that time. In other words, to understand, the dentist works for you, works so hard, the doctor works so hard for you, and he oh, did it for his money, he did it for this. He, we, we just, you know, blush it off. And you know, he didn't do anything, he got his money, he got his work. Oh, yeah, he didn't do so much. He invited you, he did so much. Underestimating some work that somebody does, this is Lashonara, and that's the root of Lashonara, not only Lashonara, it's the root of Lashonara. When we evaluate people in the wrong nation, we don't give people to that perspective of what they are. He say, yes, and there are top pressure, he said a lot of things. That time with the understand the internal, but always you find something, evaluate things, it gives, gives you a different perspective, different things. Somebody told me he has to deal with somebody, he's a very difficult person, and he says he's in for three times during the week. And always that he sees him, he says he's in hell, because you know, he makes such a face to him, that he talk to him, and he talked to a lot of Rabbani, nobody helped him, 
And what should you do? What should you write? I told him like this. I was going to put something in my mind. I told him like this. I told him that how many times you see? Two times. He's a difficult person. He says, yes, even his wife and children cannot handle it. I said, well, how many times you are with him? Three times. I said, what happened to you those three times? What happened to his wife? What happens to children that they have to deal with him all the time? What do you think about that? There are three times. And the other thing I told him, think deeper. What's happening with this person? This person is a person that his wife is fighting with him, his children are fighting with him, everything fighting with him. Now why? What's happening with him? Do you know this person is in hell? Imagine a Jew is in hell and you are out of the hell and it's burning inside. The fire is burning and burning and burning. He doesn't have many khadanefesh from his wife, his children, his job. And what caused that? We don't know. Maybe he had a bad parenting. Maybe he had a harsh brother. Maybe, you know, things calculated together, brought into his master. That's not our job. It's job of Akadosh Baruch Hu. But imagine a Jew is in hell is burning. How would you feel? What happens to you? Your Rahman turns about. You die for him. You cry for him. It's not a matter of, he's a difficult person to deal with. It's a matter of understanding the Jew is burning. The Jew is, doesn't have that. You have Menucha, you have with your wife, with your children, you love them, you sit down on Shabbat together. In bad Basque, he doesn't have even that. Next time when you see him, you should generate your love for him and tell him and pray for him. And for this world, you help him. You never know what caused this. Right? Something happened in his life that went wrong. And it became like this. Now it's very hard for him to get out himself from the mud that he's in. But believe me, he has have a good time. He's in hell. You have to imagine, visualize somebody's in hell. You have to help him. Now the word, the Lashon Hara, the Nikud of Lashon is the root of Lashon is evaluating people and understanding the right perspective. Once we do that, we, we, we get rid of Lashon Hara because everybody has a value. Everybody has a Nishon. Everybody has a child of Akhosh Baruch there's something good about him. People messed him up. People, people dealt with him. Once the Bachur came to me and says, I hate Rabban. So why? What happened to you? He says, Bachur of Yeshiva. You know, you messed up in Yeshiva. And I said, I talk to him. Not the case, which thing happens. That, you know, I know the case, what happened to him. And really, he wasn't at fault. In other words, it happened. No, sin happened. There are two ghosts happened. And, you know, what could you do? No, and they come in their and they said, Hashem, have a good Shabbat and enjoy yourself.